Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. Today's topic is what is volatile keyword in Java and when should you use it? Let's break it down into simple terms. In Java, the volatile keyword is used to indicate that variable's value may be modified by multiple threads. Declaring a variable as volatile ensures that changes to its values are immediately visible to all threads, preventing thread specific caching of the variables. Normally, Variables in Java can be cached by threads for faster access. This caching may cause threads to read outdated values of a variable. But when a variable is declared as volatile, it ensures that all threads always read and write value directly from the main memory instead of using thread local caches. For example, here flag is declared as volatile. This ensures that all threads see the updated value of flag immediately once it is changed, preventing the stuck loops caused by thread specific caches. Now the question is, when should you use volatile? One use case for volatile is when reading or writing a single shared variable across threads without synchronization. For example, here we have marked share timestamp as volatile to read its value or write to it across multiple threads. Another use case for volatile can be to use it for flags or status variables as volatile ensures instantaneous visibility across threads, making it ideal for controlling thread execution. For example, here is running variable is marked as volatile, initially equal to true. Volatile ensures that its value is consistently visible across threads, allowing worker threads to stop as soon as flag changes to false. Now let's see when not to use the volatile. We shouldn't use volatile for complex state updates. For example, atomicity of an operation like incrementing counters or compound read writes as volatile ensures visibility across threads but it does not guarantee synchronization or atomicity. For example, incrementing a counter like x++ involves three separate operations. First, the thread reads the current value of the variable from memory. Then it calculates the new value. And third is, it writes back the updated value back to the memory. For example, multiple threads may try to increment the counter simultaneously. And they might interleave these operations, leading to lost updates or incorrect values. Suppose thread 1 and thread 2 try to increment the counter simultaneously, which currently has value equal to 5. Now before updating the counter, both the threads will read the value 5, thanks to volatile keyword. Now both threads will update the counter independently to 6 and write it back, overriding each other's changes. So if we need to perform such complex updates, use synchronized blocks or classes like Atomic Integer. That's all for today. Hit like and follow us for more Java tips.